guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make gorditas. It's basically like a big chewy cookie. I got no other words to explain it. You are going to need flour, baking powder, milk, water, margarine. You can use butter if you want. You are also going to need a stick of cinnamon and then powdered cinnamon. And then you'll just need sugar and two eggs. I will leave a picture at the end of this video so you can take a screenshot for the full ingredients and yeah let's just get right on to the procedure the first thing you want to do is add the flour baking powder water milk uh, margarine in my case and then two eggs and then you i'm gonna mix with my hands you can obviously do this in your standing mixer but i'm doing it with my hands i just feel like it's way easier well, that's my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, your margarine is obviously obviously going to need to be very soft. So you can be able to mix it in. Especially if you're using a standing mixer. Because um, that's not going to break it up. That does not have muscle like your hand. So yeah, that's basically what you want to do. And then I'm adding the cinnamon. And then the stick little bar of cinnamon. What I did, I put it into the blender and then I let it blend up in small pieces the pieces are not that big that it's gonna like um affect you when you you know eat it you're not gonna be able to feel it like hurt you basically it's just it gives it a better taste and a stronger taste so yeah and so I'm just like uh, mixing everything in till it's well incorporated and then I added a little bit more cinnamon and sugar and yeah that's basically all I'm doing and you just want to work your dough till like I said everything's incorporated and you'll know your dough is perfectly fine when you grab a bit of your dough and you roll it into a ball it should not stick to your hand if it does then it needs more flour So once your dough is done, you are going to cover it up with a towel for 10 minutes. And then once those 10, minute, 10 minutes pass, you are going to grab little balls of dough. Well, you're actually going to form it into a nice little smooth dough. I mean ball. I'm sorry. And yeah, I'm just with a rolling pin. I'm going to stretch it out. You do not want it to be too thin that it becomes very crunchy when you're cooking it. Neither do you want it to be too thick that it doesn't cook it. I like my gorditas thick. But like they just won't. They don't cook right. Basically they're still dough. Although I love the dough by its own. <laughs> I'm always the one picking at the dough my mom always told me is bad but this is the only dough I would really pick at it I don't know it's just very good so you can see kind of what the size are and then here I'm cooking it on very low speed low to medium but more on the low side and I'm just le letting them cook for about four minutes on each side and yeah this is how they basically should look like if you see the procedure is very easy there's just few ingredients you probably already have at home and so yeah this is what they look like i really hope you give this a try they are absolutely delicious i have not seen this recipe um here on youtube so i was like i need to share this because i've seen gorditas de nata and like um sweet gorditas that's what they call them you can search this up and you'll see that there's no cinnamon gorditas like why why like it's so delicious but yeah and i also want to tell you guys thank you so much we reached 500 subscribers and i'm just so blessed for you guys to have subscribed to me in the first place yeah thank you so much Yo creo que hasta aquí la vamos a dejar.